So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com. The place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. Looking at, pe- uh, how do you pronounce it? Petricor. Petricor, right, so Which please. the pleasant earthy smell after rain, because as you know, uh, humans have evolved on the savanna, and after rain all the big cats have run away, so we are genetically engineered to like the smell of... That, that makes sense, rain. I never kind of thought why that smell is so nice, but yeah, makes sense. Yeah. So, tell us how... How does this game work? How do we play it? Uh, before I jump into that, quick disclaimer, this is pre-pre-pre-production pre, prototype. Yeah. Uh, the tiles will be bigger, the scoring will be on both sides so that the clouds don't cover the whole thing, the beads will be smaller so they don't overflow. Those those changes have all been made to the game since this phase. Okay. So, now that that's out of the way... Yeah, because I mean, th- this is was successfully kickstarted. Yes, do you have a retail release plan for this we'll have copies to sell for retailers should they choose to talk to us okay but you don't have distribution deal set we up have yet plans but i'm not the businessman so even if we did <laughs> you you don't know the details I feign ignorance okay that's game. fine so let's go on with the game uh so this is a uh, thematically we are forces of the weather or if you want to simplify we are clouds <laughs> We are trying to rain our color of water okay, yep. onto the tiles, which will get scored when harvested. And during that, we also vote on the upcoming weather. And we are trying to be the one who best influences the weather. So okay. it's a double area control mixed in with a little action selection. The way the action selection works is that in the deck of cards, there are only four kinds of cards. Frost, sun, wind and rain the final art is even prettier this is this is the quick I mean, this is pretty nice as it is though. some of these are final but the cards all but frost have been improved since frost was already good yeah, enough yeah i mean that, that is lovely <laughs> yes it's absolutely lovely uh, so the wind the new wind is just so much wow anywho <laughs> moving on so there are only four kinds of cards Uh, You will get six or seven of these, depending on the player count at the beginning of the game, randomly. And then play will go round uh, and round, and when it's your turn, you can play one or two actions. Okay. The first action costs you one card, the second action costs you two cards. Okay. You don't have to play the second action. Okay. Also, if you desperately want to do a particular action, but you don't have any of the cards around, you can play any two cards as a third. So I can say, this is a sun. Okay. So, yes, there's a bit of luck. So, that, to... that would be as your first action? Yes. If I want to play a double rain, uh, if I want to play a sun and a rain and I don't have a rain card, though I only have one rain card, I could do this. Because sun is my first action and two rain cards as my second action with those yeah. two standing in for so a rain. So, you can use any two yes. together as any. So, basically, your efficiency is a little bit dependent on luck, but you're never shut out. You can always do something and you can always do most of the things you want to do. Okay. But not everything because that would be too easy. Yeah. So when you play one action, you do whatever that whether card that whatever whatever that card effect does. Each of the four cards have a unique card effect. Okay. And then you vote. You vote either on the effect you've just resolved. So if you played ice, you can play on ice, or you can always vote on the next one, in this case sun. Okay, and it's always that direction. Yes, or you can hasten harvest by taking one of these dice, which are rolled at the beginning of the round, and decrease it by one. If you do that, you score a victory point. Okay, if you decrease and, and you're doing that instead of instead placing. Of voting, yes. So voting is placing a disc here, or placing a disc on the next one, or decreasing okay. a die. Okay. If you decrease a one to a harvest, then you score two points instead. Okay. So there's a bit of, uh, if I decrease this, am I just giving more points to the other, or do I invest more into spending both my actions? Yeah, and obviously decrease. as it gets nearer and nearer to the one, it's more of a concern. Yes, exactly. Uh, at the beginning of the game, we all start with a cloud with one drop on, so otherwise everybody's first action would have to be to create cloud okay. and the four card actions is frost 
is create a new cloud, place it on an empty tile. Okay. And you immediately place one of your tokens on Yes. Sun is pick a cloud where you're already present and add two drops to it. Okay. If a cloud reaches four or more drops, it becomes thunderous. Okay. okay. Wind. Pick a cloud you're already present in and move it orthogonally adjacent tile. Okay. If you move it onto a tile where there's another cloud, they merge and become thunderous. Okay. So, as you see, since you can always only influence clouds you're already in, the only way to mix it up is to win into somebody else's cloud. Yeah. If a cloud ever reaches eight drops, for example, because you do this, then that cloud pours out. Okay. Empty clouds are always removed. And then you score as per... No. <laughs> Rain, you can pick up to two clouds, which has your drops in it, and rain one drop out from each. So you can do that, and you can do that. See, I can rain somebody else's cloud out. Normally, I want to rain my own drop out to put it on the tile. Every now and then, I want to rain somebody else out, because then now blue can no longer affect this cloud. Yeah. So there's a bit of cloud control to it. <laughs> I can't believe I just thought of that joke. <laughs> I should have come up with that at 9 a.m. And, and we have it recorded as well. Yes. Uh, so, these are the four cards effects. Once again, clouds become thunderous when they merge or if they reach four drops, and they pour when they reach eight drops. This will be important later. Voting. Once you've done your effect, you vote as we talked about. You put this down or you rotate the dice. Yes. Yeah. Game goes, uh, well, if you pay two actions, then you do two things here and then you vote twice. Okay, so you don't do one action, one vote, one action, one vote. It's the same you can... since, there is not, since it's you doing. Yeah, yeah it's, it's one action, one vote, one action, one vote. But yeah. Uh, and then play goes to you, and we go round and round and round until one player passes. If you're out of cards and it's your turn, you half have to pass, okay. but you can pass earlier. If you pass, two things happen. You discard your remaining cards, and you immediately become the new first player. In the real game, this will be a wooden cloud piece, yay big. Okay, very nice. Stretch goes unlocked. <laughs> um, once I passed and became first player, everybody else gets one more turn, okay. which is optional, so they can skip it. They can keep cards for the next round, so they'll have more cards for the next okay. round. But if they do take that round, they can only play one action, so they can't mess the They can't up too do much. too much. Yes. Once the round came back to me, the round after I got this, the round is over. And then we look over at the votes. Let me set up some useful example. So if this is the situation at the end of the round, the two weathers with the most votes get resolved. Okay. In that case, one of them is definitely wind because it has the most. Yeah. Second one, we have a tie for here. So whoever just became the first player breaks ties. So he says, I want rain. In which okay. case, wind and rain will be resolved. Effects are always resolved in this order, starting from frost. So in this case, it will be wind first and then rain. And then whoever has the most votes on those, in which case, this case, it's red on both. Well done, red. Gets two voting wins which will be victory points at the end of the game. Okay. In this situation... So th this escalates quite a lot as Yes, well. and in the short game, which will be on the other side of the board, it escalates even further. Okay. In this case, red would get two push-ups and blue would get one. Because okay. in case of a tie here, both players get the push. So that's... And then we resolve the wind's weather effect. Then we remove these. Then we resolve the rain's weather effect, which I'll tell you in a second. And then we remove these, and then those stay there for next round. Okay. So what are the weather effects? Frost makes all clouds thunderous, regardless of how many drops are in there. Sun, in turn order, you pick one cloud where you already have drops, and you double your presence. Okay. Remember, if any cloud reaches eight, it immediately pours out. Yeah. Wind. 
in reverse turn order, you pick one tile that has some drops on it and you move one drop to an adjacent tile. Doesn't have to be yours and you don't have to be on that tile. This is where you can mess up other people's plans. And finally, rain, every thundercloud rains. And that's why making thunderclouds is important because they get rained easily. Once you've done those, we look at the dice. If all three dice are showing harvest, we score. Okay. We score and then we reroll the dice. If not all three dice are showing harvest, then we reroll those that are not showing harvest. But then regardless of the roll, we move on to the next round. Okay. So as you play each round, you're going to have fewer of these dice to be able to No, but decrease. once there is a harvest, we reroll all three. Oh, okay. Yeah. So basically, okay. if there is no harvest this round, then it's highly likely that there's going to be a harvest next harvest round. Harvest next round. And the game end is just... Four rounds in the short game, six rounds in the long game. Okay. Um, is it possible then to play a few turns to like see how it runs? The only other special thing I haven't told you is that every single plant scores differently. Okay. Most of, some of them have area majority. Whoever has the most drops on grass scores four points, three points for the second place, etc. Cotton is similar, but rewards being first more. Potato is similar, but the second place is the rewarded one. Then there are more complicated plants, like wheat scores flat, but whoever wins the wheat gets a wheat token. Most wheat tokens is 12 points at the end of the game. And then there are more complicated ones. Scoring so the are these fixed every game you're using the same ones, or are there, there more are than you do? There tiles in the game, but only five or six types. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven types. There you go. Uh, so there are seven types. Some so it will vary right. from game to game yes. exactly what score. And uh, the, there are two more tiles in the promo pack, which Kickstarter backers and pre-order buyers get. And there are three more tiles in the fifth player expansion, which can be bought at an additional 10. And, and are the pre-orders still open in case they anyone does one? Today. So walk up to me, pre-order, <laughs> we'll deal with this. Okay, brilliant. Uh, so uh, so uh, the online pre-orders will start in a few weeks. We haven't set them up, but we're making a it, special pre-order. It takes time for the videos to get out. We're so. making a special pre-order just for UK Game Expo. It makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, um, so if we yes, have let's a game. reset the board. Shall I set up for three players? Yeah. If we do three players. Red, green. So I'll be yellow. So let's take blue off. Let's go back to zero. If it's three player, then we can take those out. One less thing for me to explain. Yeah. And is a game typically 30 to 45 minutes? No. I can play a four round, four player game just over an hour. Okay. On your first game, it might be a bit more. Which okay. Is the whole reason why we included both a four and a six player, a uh, six round yeah, game, so. because having played it dozens of times, we prefer. I'm so sorry. If your plan doesn't work this round, it'll work better next round. But for newbie players, all they see is that the game still goes, still goes, and they're still not doing well. So for newbie game players, we made a shorter game. Yep, yeah, okay. Uh, so do you want to go first then as you yes, know the game? Definitely. So at the beginning of the game, everybody starts with one cloud. And do we pick? In reverse turn order, so pick a cloud. I don't really know the game well enough, so just... Yeah, start in the middle. And then, since you pick last, you're the first player, you get that. You shuffle the cards, roll the, roll the harvest dice. There. Do you want me to let you play, or do you want me to point out all the strategic things you could be caring about? Uh, I think just let... Play I you think feel. for my very first turn, it would be useful to have a hear, hear what your options are, I think. Your well, first turn is fairly simple. You'll either start make a second cloud or you add two drops to your first cloud. But the branching factor is fairly big from then on. Yeah, I mean, there wouldn't be much benefit to move the clouds no. together. Unless you want to start messing with me straight away. <laughs> but there is, quite, there is a small upside to it, but it's more when you know what you're doing. Yeah. Then you can start messing with it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, five, six. I'm slightly unsure whether it's six or seven cards or three players because I tend to play four players, but we'll it's just pretend it's six. 
If it's seven, check the rule book. So okay. you get those cards and you start. You so can play one or two actions. Yes, that's the play rate. Until you know what you're doing, I would recommend only playing one card. Because otherwise you might be wasting your cards for stuff you don't need. So play one card. May I recommend it be a frost or a sun as your first card. Basically 50% of your options, so still not too shabby. Okay, well I have a sun there. Which adds two drops into your cloud. Then you can vote on sun or wind or to rotate a die. Yes, but rotating a one to a harvest gets you two points. So why not take those cheap yeah. two points? And that gives green two points. You're up. So does she get to draw any cards? No. At the beginning of the round, you get six cards. Okay. What? You'll pass so eventually you're, because you're, you're not only going to have these cards. Yes. One okay. thing I haven't mentioned because I haven't got into the more complicated cards. Corn uh, needs five drops to grow, and then you score based on how many players are on it. If you're on it alone, you get 12 points. If there are two people on it, you get eight points each, etc. Wheat, I said the player who's leading gets a wheat token. Coffee needs four drops to grow. You score five, three, two, one points on it on normal majority. But if there's a sun weather happening while it's already sprouting, then it develops and then it's going to score 10, five to one points, which is a lot higher. So if you're on co coffee, then you like sun a lot. If you're not, then then only if you need it. Your turn. Okay, so uh, which one was it to create a Ice. cloud? Ice. Ice. Um, okay, in that case, I'm just going to do the same as Sarah. I'm going to play one sun. Remember, you can sun. play any two cards as one other. So if you, if you want to create a cloud, but you have lots of rains, then you'd better off playing two of those cards as a frost rather than not frosting. Okay. So in that case, it's up I, to you, what do you want? The sun is a good move. I'm just saying, if I, you I want kinda, to create I a cloud, want another then cloud. Play, then whatever you have the most of, play so, one or two of it. Doesn't even so we're going to play the two rain as one frost then. Yeah, you could even play a rain and a wind as a frost. Yeah. So that gives you a cloud which you can place on any empty cloud. Uh, any um, empty. I'm going to go for this so grass. You can, you can start going on coffees. Yeah, I'm going to go for the grass. The grass is the safe option. It's yeah, four points, easy but points. It's not going to be more than four points. Yeah, and then you can vote on ice, sun, or rotator die. Uh, I am going to vote on ice. Good call because you have lots of clouds, so to make them easier to rain, ice yeah, might help. Because that would then make them uh, thunderous, wouldn't it? Yes. Yeah. So since neither of you are doing the coffee thing, I'll show you the coffee thing. <laughs> okay. So I'll go there, add one drop to it, and I'll vote on sun. Okay. Um, I like sun again. Cool. Remember, cotton only needs two drops to grow. So if you put all five of them on this tile, that's a little bit of an overkill. Okay. But you have a rain action which you can put them down one by one and then win the way or something. Mm -hmm. Because you're now above four drops, you get a thunderous thing. You can vote. Go away if I rained. No, the uh, thunder oh, only goes away rain. when the whole cloud goes away. So you can vote on sun or wind or rotate the die. Um, I will vote for. Vote whatever is useful for you. Mm. Doubling that cloud for you is not useful at all. No. So either take points or vote on wind. I'm going to carry on with my point situation. Then so don't you... turn the two. Because if you turn the two, you're It'll giving happen. two points to. Yeah. No, so. from three to a two. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It was a, it was a three, yeah. so you turn it down to a two, and you get one point for it. Your turn. Okay. I am gonna play. I'm gonna play a sun, Maybe and you get two drops I'm into, gonna do two drops in there. The, that's the good idea because you're the only one doing weed, so why not lean onto it? Yeah. And I need three for it to uh, yes. trigger. And now to get it down, you either have to spend three rain actions dropping them out, or you need to get them thunderous and then have a rain weather. Yeah, so we're going to go... Uh, no, we're, we're going to go... For... Sun, so you can vote on sun or wind. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um... After a while, there's going to be situations where you don't care between two actions, so you're going to pick the action which enables the better voting. So yeah. everything's intertwined. 
Uh, in that case, I'll go for sun. Which is what I was hoping for, because it helps feed my coffee yeah. strategy. I'm gonna play a sun to drop two drops in there. And then okay. I'm gonna draw play two uh, ices to create a new cloud. I did not think that through. There. And I have now two votes. On my first vote, I'm gonna rotate that two down to a one. Yeah. And on my second vote, I'm gonna rotate that one down to a harvest. Giving you three points. Exactly. Now you can vote on rain, ice, or take a point. Um, an ice would make turn more clouds. Thunderous. Thunderous. Um, oh. Which makes no difference for you. Oh. Rain might help you because if you drop yeah. another one out here and then wind over here, then the rain will drop you here, and that's cool. Yeah. Um, so why can I vote on rain this time? Because you played rain. Because you rain. played rain. Played so, rain. so it's what you're on and the next one. one, yeah. And is that you done? Um, yeah, I'll leave it there. Okay. So you definitely have at least three more turns because if I, oh, well, if I pass now, you have two more turns. If I play, then you have three more turns. So you definitely have all the time in the world. Um, Pushing becomes a thing later on when, when people do big turns. I'm going to do sun into there. And vote on sun. Cool. I'm going to play these two cards as a sun. And drop two there, turning it into the thundercloud. And I'm going to vote on sun again. Okay. And I'm out of cards, so I'm definitely passing next definitely turn. Definitely passing next turn, so we know we've only got two, two turns. turns left. And the second turn you can only play one action on. So if you're gonna do a double turn, do it now. Not, not really. But first, I only first, got two cards first left, so. Not a problem. I did that whole just raining thing, but I think I'm gonna play these two as a rain. Yep, but remember, you will need a wind to get come up yes. here. So you can vote on rain or ice. Rain seems to be the logical thing. So, uh, this is annoying. Um, yeah, um, remember if, if what you care about is wrestling control of the sun, you can just play those two as ice or sun. Yeah, or if you what you care about is making sure there's a harvest this turn. Yeah, I mean, at the moment, I'm thinking a harvest this turn isn't going to help me. Um, because I've not gone thunderous, exactly. yeah. Exactly, and so it's um, unlikely that you can push above her because she can play a wind, which will be a third vote on rain. So the only way to get this is if you get two more votes in it, which is unlikely. Yeah. But if you, you can definitely make one of them thunderous by merging the two clouds. Yes. Or you uh, can make, merge this over there and and. Uh, take five points from me so you have plenty of options left on the board you might not be able to do what you thought you wanted yeah that's the that's the trick to it yeah um, shift gears continuously shift gears so what i'm gonna do is gonna go for sun yep. for in there that making it thunderous. it thunderous and then presuming your last card is not a sun you can wind this somewhere or yeah, so I can vote for... If you vote a sun, you'll, get, you'll beat me for the voting wins. If you don't, we both get the voting win, and then you can snag a victory point. It's up to you. Do you want to... Yeah, I mean, the win, win's not going to happen anyway, so I might as well go for that. Yeah, but it'll stay there for next turn. You'll get a leg up on it next turn. Yeah, I'd rather steal the points from you. <laughs> good, good, always good call. Always gang up on the designer. I'll pass. Taking the first player tile. Last action. I win. Where do you go? It doesn't have to be an empty, you can crash into one of the others. Okay. Oh, 
for example, if you crash into this one, you steal four points for uh, you. Well, you, you could, uh, hit yeah. Still here five. you would get five. I would get one. Here you would get four. I would get three. So presumably that's the better one. Yeah. But okay. there's always a small chance that he crashes into us. Um, does that one become thunderous? Because yes, this because one it's mer merged and because oh, it reaches yeah. four. Yeah. Because any and that merge immediately vote. become thunderous. So you can vote on wind, rain, or take a point. He can only vote once, and I'm the first player. Yeah. Okay, I need to put it in rain, I think. Exactly, because I would prefer ice to rain. Yeah. So if he puts it on ice, then I would pick ice well, just... Well, it was mainly because if I wanted to put in wind just so that next time, but then he could bring ice equal, And, so, and yeah. then I can pick ice, and yeah. exactly. So it, as you see, it's extremely interactive. Okay, so I'm going to be winding, because that's Which all I have guessed. left. Um... So, I guess I'm going to go this way. Because that will score you five points, yes. Uh, well, it will score me eight points, won't it? It's not some, it's... But we're going to have some. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not, 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 not it's either or. It's not oh, either. okay. Yeah. This reached eight, so it pours out immediately. Yeah. Which is kind of good for me, but at least you're getting five points out of it. Yeah, I, I kind of figured it helps you, but it helps me as well, so... I would have gotten the 10 points anyways, but now I don't have to double this cloud to pour it. Now I can double that cloud. Yeah. So this is now sprouting, so if it were to be harvested now, it would score five and three points. The round is... Uh, you four, you need to vote one I, I can still you can, vote. Because um, now there's no... You can eat, what did you do to you, win? Yeah, but I mean, if I do that, then you're going to get the two points no, no, next no. round. No, because we rerolled any die that's not a harvest. You're right. Okay, so... There you go. I mean... You can either place a vote can on go green there or there. Point, that, that's pointless. I, I, the point makes more sense. Yes. So we go for the point. So, that's the end of the round. The two weathers with the most votes are sun and rain. So in turn order, starting from me, we get to double one cloud. I'm going to double my grass. You have to double yep, that one, well. no, which puts you on double. seven, which doesn't rain, and you put that on which ten, which pours it. Yeah. Which makes it growing. And by the way, that cotton is also growing. We just forgot to mark it. And then we get a rain. Oh yes, green so. red gets a voting win, and then for rain, green gets a voting win, and then every thunderous cloud, which is now that cloud, rains making that cotton grow as well. Yeah. If we were to score right now, I would score 10 points here and one point there. Green would score 10 points here. Should, should this be wilted? Because we had some. Oh yes, you're right, we flipped that. So I would score 10 points here and, 11, and one point there. Green would score five points and five points. Red would score five points here and two points there and get a wheat token, which will be 12 yeah. points at the end of the game. So, right now we're neck to neck because green and yellow has exactly the same amount of points. Red has a little bit more with that. But there's no scoring this round. So, what we do instead is we reroll every non harvest die, giving us some more points for next turn. And then we move into the next round. Okay. These two come off because those were resolved. Yeah. And the board stays as is. Okay. So, you if we want to continue? Or yeah, if we play one more round. Yeah. yeah. So we play one more round, so these yeah. will go away. Remember, your last action wasn't mandatory. You could have kept, could the, have card kept the card for yeah. next round. One, two, three, four. And if I had kept six. that card, I'd still be dealt six now. So you would get seven cards exactly. Which is why rushing later in the game is more likely, because players will start with seven or eight cards eventually. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. And more of these nuances come out in the longer game, but you get the gist, like, you get a fully functional, fully fun game in four rounds, just not all long-term things happen. Yeah. I am the first player, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna create a cloud. Nah, I'm not, 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 not gonna get another something going. I'll clear the crowd over that weed and I'll vote on ice. Yep, 
you can even create overdrops. The back of the box is blank, it's a prototype. Oh, okay, fair. <laughs> um, I might go here, it's probably not going to work out how it could. So could I do the same action twice if I have the cards yes. for it? But you'd need two. Yeah, cards. yeah. So is that you done? You need to I do your the voting? Same action again. I do need to do my vote. So ice, sun, or a die? And the ice is going to make all clouds thunderous. Which matters if there's a rain coming, which may or may not be what I'm banking on. With yeah, lots of clouds. Well, put another. Mm, no, I will wait. Okay, I am gonna do a frost, uh, creating cloud there, and uh, I'll vote for some sunshine. I'll sun two drops into my wheat and I'll take the point. And the only point in going on ones where I've already got where you're already Myself in the lead. would just be to sort of no. secure it if yeah, so someone else there's, is there's a grass there. Well, and you can't can... create a cloud where there is one, so you might want to create a cloud to then move it into another cloud. Yes, you could create that and then crash into mine. Or... Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go here. But if you're going for a corn, that needs a lot of investment, so... Because five drops is a lot. But who knows, I might wind into you, so... Get it up to three and I might help you. Because eight um, points between for the both of us is better than four points just for me. Yeah. I might just use two cards right now. As, yeah. Uh, a sun. What is that? As two for a sun. Sorry, is that the second action? Yes. Then you need two suns. So you can oh, either I use see, yeah. two cards yeah. as or one use all of, of my cards. Yeah. Yes, which is a bit crazy. Yes. I'm not saying I've never seen it used well, but not often. I've done a five card turn once and it worked out. <laughs> but only, it worked out in the short term and the next round I was like, oh no. Yeah, they all have so many more cards than Yes. <laughs> yeah, so I won't wait, just too much. So, so you, you still need to do your vote? Yeah. Um, we played another Frost, so. Frost, Sun, or Light? Sorry? Kind of with like Sun. So I am gonna go for. I'm going to go for a wind, and... Hello, I was just about to come over to you. Crash into there, so that becomes thunderous. Yeah, and you can vote on stuff. Okay, um... Wind, rain, or die? I think I'm going to vote for choice, rain. It's a fun weather. Everyone likes the rain, right? <laughs> I would love to vote on wind just to show you how much fun it does on the board, but it's not good for me right now. <laughs> Although, yeah, it's two points for me, which is not bad. Hello. So that's interesting, because that's not going to score. Oh, it will, just not 10 points. Well, it's not going to score at all yet, is it? Cause well, it needs four drops. Well, if I can make rain happen... But there's only three drops. Oh, true. Um, so I did send, so I will... Plus, if she keeps voting for sun, it might score 10 points, who knows? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm totally hedging my bets here. 
I mean, that, that really messed up what I wanted I to know. have happen. That's why um, I did it. Because I then wanted to move it down here and get five points for one drop. I know. Um, <laughs> that was fairly obvious. Uh, so what I'm going to do... Uh, is go for a bit of frost. Good choice. Uh, can you pass cloud please? And on the grass. Now you're doing what I wanted to do. <laughs> and then voting. Uh, hmm. Well, we're never going to have a harvest if people aren't willing to give other people points, so. Or do you have to take double turns? Um. Frost down there before you get some crease. Oh, but oh, nah, you can get your silly corn. And so that was a sun, okay. I'm not voting for sun though. Uh, I mean, don't forget, it's the easy two I know, I know, but I'm doing terrible on. Voting wins, I need to shore something up for next round. But we're gonna harvest, so wind won't be good next round. It would have been good this round. Yeah! Think, stranger things have happened. Hmm. Well, I kind of feel like I need some more in here, but that will come from that sun. Corn is worth more points. Or bread will wind into it. Yes. Although I could win, you can win somebody else, right? No, Only you if you're in the cloud. Win yourself if you're in there. You could, play I could two put wins myself and, in there. And, or do some funky stuff. Yeah. Mm. By the way, what you see here, this is the base game. With the flowers expansion, we add the fifth player materials, three new plants. Each of them scoring increasingly weirder. Okay. And we add the um, uh, asymmetric player powers. Oh, cool. Which you pick at the beginning of the game and you can use the whole game. And we also have four cast cards, which you draw three at the beginning of the game and they are one shot abilities you can use once in the game. You can use any two of your three cards. Okay, that's interesting. And that gives even more, ooh, I can do this kind of strange situations. Um, so in that case, I am going to, uh, hmm. I think I'm gonna sun here, and I'll take the points. Take the points. Now I have to make the call. Can't bind my time anymore. There's no point for me to pass. I don't want to. Not great. I might have outsmarted myself. <laughs> I, I think you're still doing okay. I think I have to waste this card. How many guys do you have? Two? Two. Cool. Pass. So, do you not keep first player? I can't keep the first player, I have to pass it counterclockwise. Okay. Which is why I automated myself. See, kids, don't play like this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I am going to rain again. Okay. If you're interested in the explanation why I was willing to waste everything, because I only had a ray wind in my hand, 
and the rule is that if you can resolve the card, you must resolve the card. If I move this, we're tied on grass, total yeah. waste. If I do this, I win wheat even more and give you three points total waste. Yeah. If I do this, I'm letting red run away with the wheat tokens. Yeah. Total waste. Look at the votes. I need to get this cloud to be thunderous, yeah. which I can do either on frost or on sun. One of them is definitely happening, so I don't need to vote anywhere. You rotated the last harvest, so there was nothing that was actually a good move for me. Yeah. So, so yeah, I'm done. Oh, you're done. What did you do? Uh, I rained, and then I voted for the rain. Oh, okay. Um, and you're getting two voting wins. You're absolutely shattering me in that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not playing well, but... So, I mean, we're, we're gonna... No, I'm not. I'm, I'm trying to be too smart. I'm playing too, fa too flashy. Now, you see, I'm gonna do a really evil move don't, here. Don't, because it's evil to me. By doing... Get off my land. That. Oh. But for that, you need cost to happen, because otherwise that, those are not going to drop. Oh, you double that and then it'll rain out. Yes, that works, because, oh, you, you don't care about that. Yeah, I'm already second. It wouldn't change me being second. Um, so, yeah, that's, that was my thought. Uh, Voting-wise, uh, I played wind, so I could go in wind or I could go in there. But uh, if you go there, you also get the voting win. Yeah. And I, and I need a voting win, so... Yes. Well done. Uh, all right, so that's then so end of the round. So sun and rain happens. Sun is a voting win for green, and rain is a voting win for green and red. Honestly, don't know what this poor yellow is doing. He must be a newbie. So and then sun, red... we double... So yes. I had a card left, but that's... You keep that for next round. So we resolve sun starting with you? Or no, starting, starting with, with you. Because I'm now first player. Yes. So you put six there, which makes it thunderous. Yeah. Then I have a bit of a conundrum. If I double this, it'll score me 10 points and red five. Yeah. If I don't double it, it'll score five points for me and three points for red. So I'm scoring two what, points. Why does doubling it matter? Because if I double it, then it falls out now. Um, and develops. Well, it's in some, If I don't yeah. double it, it falls out on rain, which means it's not gonna develop. Yeah. Or you can do that. Or I can that. double this, so it'll fall out, which will only give me two points, but will make you waste that whole thing. I mean, it doesn't waste it, it means we're balanced. Yes, so, if I pick this, then I get five points more than you. Yeah. And ten points more than you. But you get basically 12 points more than me, so I'm actually seven points behind. But if I pick you're, this... You're mapping this out so badly. <laughs> I just played it a lot and I can see <laughs> these two. I'm terrible with the cards because I always want to overcome it. But, but the mapping bit is easy. So I have to double this because then I'm scoring 17 points against you and two points against you. Yeah. So three drops go there. Which makes it a thundercloud. And then, and then you can everything. double one of oh, these clouds. Yeah. I think it has to be this one. Yes. Then everything that has a thundercloud, which is these three, rains, which grows the wheat and sprouts the coffee. Yeah. And then there is a harvest, because we have three harvest dice, which means we don't touch that, we don't touch that, everything else scores. Green score, uh, the reason I was kind of hoping for a wind to happen, but it wasn't good enough for me to invest in, because this is one point, this is three points, this is eight points. Yeah. So, <laughs> I was hoping to jump off that. Anywho. But will this score at all? Because it doesn't not now, have five. Not now, but obviously, if, we, if there was any chance of wind, I would have helped that. Yeah. Basically, by me moving this one up, I stopped the corn instead of helping it. Yeah. Okay. And it's nice because it was your corn that you tried to influence and I decided that it's not going to happen. Yeah, so, lots of interaction. You, you see the, the interaction exactly. The, to me, this game is all about the interaction. Yeah. So that's the five points to green and one point to yellow. And then it comes off. That's two points for red and a wheat token. This is what we like to call it. the end of the game. A big overkill. That's nothing. That's five points for red. Nice jump up. Yeah. And one point for green. That's ten points for yellow. God, I needed the points. <laughs> and five points to red. 
and that's two points to yellow and the wheat token and that's five points to yellow and uh, three points to red so if the game were to end right now then red would get three more points one two three green would get six more points one two three four five six and then green and red would get 12 more points and the tiebreaker is this so you uh, so red would win the game against okay. yellow I, that's, that's basically yeah, I think the game. Some, some drops remain and we do this one more time. Yeah. No, I think that's, that's great it. for giving idea of the game. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. <laughs>